Hey everyone, this is Liz uh, coming at you this week. I wanted to share a uh, strategy that I've been using uh, quite a bit lately. And I just kind of was thinking to myself this morning, I gotta share this with our YouTube community because it's, it's so good and so easy and so cheap. So when it's, when it's all those things, uh, we, I li we like to share kind of you know, resources and, and kind of strategies and tips with, with our community. Basically, it comes down to building property uh, websites. So in other words, property specific websites uh, for you or whether it's fix and flips or rentals or something that you're trying to create some extra buzz around uh, This strategy is perfect for I am not a tech savvy person never have been probably never will be and the thought of, of Building a property specific website was very overwhelming to me a couple months ago But I did it and it was so easy and so cheap and it's really been uh, yielding some great results so I said I gotta keep doing this and Again, share this with our, our YouTube community. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about how to go about this, make it simple, make it easy, and hopefully something that you can incorporate in your business if you, if you see the need. So the resource we're going through, or the website we're going through to lock in the domain or buy the domain is Bluehost. So just going to www.bluehost.com is a great first step. And, and from there, you want to go to domains and then find your domain. And basically, you want to buy the domain of, you know, the website you're, you're obviously building. My suggestion when it comes to project-specific uh, websites, which is, again, this is for this recommendation. I'm not suggesting you build this enormous website yourself, uh, but just property-specific is, is something that you definitely handle and definitely great for this particular um, strategy that I'm, I'm recommending. But when you, when you buy it and, you're, and you're, before you buy it, you're going to find your domain, you basically want to search for the domain you want to use. So, uh, for example, I built the website for one of our fix and flips called 136 Second Street. So, usually because it's an address, the domain won't be taken. So, that's not a problem. Uh, but it might be. I, I don't know that. But all the ones that I've tried, I've built three already. None of them were taken because they're, again, they're property specific and they have a, you know, you know unique address. Anyway, my suggestion was be, would be to use the address of the property because it's memorable, it's catchy, and it's easy for you to share with people that might be interested in renting or buying or buying it. So, uh, for example, like I said, we, we, we secured 136 Second Street. Uh, another example is 334 South Broad. Dot com. So again, it just depends on your your particular project, but you know the the property address is probably the easiest and way you know easiest way to go. So once you've bought the URL, uh, I I think it costs about twelve dollars eleven ninety nine to 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 purchase the domains, each of them, which is awesome. And and again, that's the only money that you'll have to spend here with this particular strategy I'm recommending. Once you've bought the domain and you've secured secure the domain, you go back to Bluehost, the main kind of uh, you know homepage. And you go to basically the, it's called the C panel. And that's pretty much where uh, you can do a lot of different things. Uh, and you scroll down and you'll see, um, you want to look for website, the header website. And then underneath there, it'll show you some third party kind of partners of, of Bluehost. One of which is, is WordPress, which many people are familiar with. I'm not comfortable with WordPress. I think it's a little overwhelming. People who are very good with building websites and are tech savvy, Blue, you know, WordPress is easy for them. But I, I'm not, and I said, I need a solution that I can literally drag and drop, and it makes it very easy to build a site. So I've been using the uh, resource called Weebly. It's W-E-E-B-L-E, L-Y, excuse me, W-E-E-B-L-Y. I'll put this in the uh, YouTube uh, notes below as well. So once you um, ch choose that on the Bluehost uh, C panel, you you choose Weebly. You it basically then pops you into a place that you can either uh, use it for your domain that you just bought, uh, a basic version which is free, which is awesome, and then there's two upgrade uh, versions as well where you can pay for. My recommendation as you start is to go with the basic one, the free one. So you're literally getting a property specific website up and running, ready to roll. Out to the public for about eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, which is awesome. So once you do that, it'll, the next step will then be like a user face where you're basically choosing the the background, and then you're choosing the you know the words you're going to use and and how you want to uh, set it up and all that good stuff. Um, it's personal preference on how how you do that. I'll just share some some tips and tricks that I used for the one thirty six Second Street. I pretty much created a homepage of basically what, you know, the um, property was going to be after I'm done with it and after we're done with it. You know, it's a five bedroom, two and a half bath, all the different types of amenities that people were going to want to care, 
you know, people care about, people want to know. Additionally, what's really helpful that I've been doing and that I would recommend you do is create opportunities for people to sign up for a newsletter. And if you're not using a newsletter email blast service, my recommendation is use MailChimp. It's free and great to use and very, again, easy to use, which is critical. So my recommendation there is to basically start to build a list. Build a list of people that could be interested in buying the property or renting the property. So for 136 Second Street, I created a spot. Please sign up. You know, here, sign up for the newsletter. And, um, and then the other uh, suggestion I have is to create a blog page on these sites. So for 136 Second Street, Every time we're doing something major to the property, we just put windows in. Uh, we, um, you know, we put a new HVAC, you know, unit in the in the in the house. Every time there's a major kind of phase that we're working on and doing, I'm updating people on the uh, web page about that. So, so people that are following the, the property and following the progress can kind of see what we're up to and what's happening, and also just follow along with the the renovation, which is kind of interesting for a lot of people in, in general. So that's the second suggestion I have for you. And once you're in this user face, uh, you can keep updating it with pictures and things of that sort. Um, and then, you know, pretty much publish it and it's, it's ready to go. And you can start promoting that by putting it on your, um, you know, marketing material, banners, or just sharing it with people. I recommend uh, to also share what you're up to in, in, a, in Facebook specific groups. So the community that this property resides in, I put a note up uh, in, in the Facebook group and said, hey, this is what we're up to. This is the renovations we're doing. And you can follow along here at the website. And from that, about 15 people signed up for the newsletter. So now I have 15 more people that are going to kind of follow the progress of this particular fix and flip. You can use this strategy for uh, a mixed-use building uh, that you're working on or a you know another project you're working on. Recently, we're doing two mixed building renovations in Trenton. So I created a website called Trenton300.com through this strategy that I'm suggesting to you. And I also uh, built one uh, recently for one of, the, one of the projects on that South Broad Street called 334southbroad.com. So again, it's just to kind of create some extra buzz and it's easy, easy and kind of simple to do and very cheap to do. So last suggestion I'll have, I have for you in this um, quick tutorial for you is that when you're building the pages, if you use this strategy and you go to Weebly and you're building the um, pages of, of the site you're, you're creating, in that choice or in that um, ability you have when you're creating the pages, it'll say SEO. And there's a, there's, a, there's a spot there that you can actually put in the words that people might um, search for and that, you know, can help bring your website up as a, as a searchable, you know, URL and website. For example... For the Trenton300.com uh, uh, website, I put in there apartments for rent, apartments in Trenton, comma, retail space in, in Trenton, commercial space in Trenton. So again, that's really what who my customers are, people looking for loft style apartments in Trenton, as well as retail space, great retail space in, in, a, in a prominent area in Trenton. So those are my SEO kind of phrases that I put in the left-hand side of the um, of the kind of user face when you're in the Weebly user face. I hope this was helpful. Again, I've just been having some good, really good success with this strategy. It's so easy, especially for non-tech people. So I just wanted to, rec you know, share this recommendation with all of you and uh, good luck with it. And uh, I'll share some of these uh, websites that I'm sharing with all of you on this discussion as well in the, in the notes. So if you have any questions, hopefully that'll be helpful. Hey, make it a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>